Welcome to another strange obscure story. Hello, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're exploring the mysterious and little known subject of the Invisible College. According to legend, the Invisible College was a secret society of scientists and philosophers in 17th century England. The concept of an invisible college was first mentioned in German Rosicrucian pamphlets in the early 17th century. It was said to be a place where these individuals could freely discuss and research alchemy, the occult, and other controversial subjects that were not accepted by mainstream academia. The Invisible College was based on the principles of Francis Bacon, who believed that knowledge is power and that all knowledge has been given for the use and relief of humanity. However, the Invisible College had a significant impact on the scientific and philosophical developments of the time, fostering an atmosphere of free inquiry and experimentation that paved the way for many of the scientific discoveries of the Enlightenment. Notable members of the Invisible College included Robert Boyle, known as the father of chemistry, John Wilkins, the founder of the Royal Society, and Christopher Wren a talented polymath, researching various subjects, including anatomy, physics, and mathematics. For example, Robert Boyle is said to have conducted much of his research into the nature of gases and the principles of chemical reactions there. Similarly, John Wilkins is believed to have been heavily influenced by his experiences in the Invisible College. Many of the ideas he later championed within the Royal Society can be traced back to his involvement in the secret society. Christopher Wren was also a member of the Royal Society and served as its president from 1680 to 1682. Wren is best known as an architect for designing many of London's most famous landmarks, including St. Paul's Cathedral. His work within the Invisible College and the Royal Society significantly impacted his field of architecture, as he was able to incorporate new scientific and mathematical principles into his designs. Wren's work helped to pave the way for the scientific and architectural advancements of the Enlightenment, and he is remembered as one of the greatest architects in history. Despite its importance, very little is known about the inner workings of the Invisible College. It's unclear how many members it had or how often they met. Some accounts suggest that the society was highly organized, with strict rules and a hierarchical structure, while others portray it as a more informal gathering of like-minded individuals. However, the Invisible College was a place of great intellectual ferment and creativity. Members were at the forefront of scientific and philosophical thinking and were not afraid to challenge conventional wisdom and explore new ideas. However, the group was not without its detractors. Many saw it as a threat to traditional religious and philosophical beliefs, and it was often accused of dabbling in the dark arts and heresy. This led to frequent persecution and harassment of its members, and, likely, the society went underground at various points in its history to avoid detection. Despite this, they continued to operate in secret for many years, attracting members from all walks of life and influencing the course of history in ways we may never fully understand. Today, the Invisible College remains a fascinating and mysterious subject, shrouded in legend and mystery. Thanks for watching. See you next time.